This is Leslie Ziegler. I'm coming to you live from the Digital Health Summer Summit here at UCSF. And I'm sitting here with Dr. Greg Marcus. Hi, Greg. Hello. Hi. So can you tell me a bit about uh, your role with UCSF and what you are doing here today? Sure. So I'm a cardiac electrophysiologist at UCSF. I'm also the director of clinical research for the Division of Cardiology here. And I'm really here to talk about um, a study that we're doing called the Healthy Heart Study. Um, it's a new construct or a new paradigm in conducting clinical research that essentially leverages the internet and technology and is a um, mechanism that other, investiga uh, other investigators and other companies can use to study devices, sensors, and apps. Fantastic. So when, when did this program roll out? So we started uh, about two years ago. Um, our progress has been steadily increasing. Um, we now have about uh, 25,000 um, uh, people who have consented to participate in the study who are from all over the world. Um, we have people from every state in the U.S. and we have a lot of collaborations with investigators um, interested in not only cardiovascular disease but other diseases and several collaborations with um, several startup companies uh, from the Bay Area. Can you name the startup companies? Um, well, so I can name a few. Um, so Ginger.io is one. Uh, Cordio, that's with a Q, is another. Um, there are several others I may um, forget offhand. I should also mention, in addition to those startup companies, uh, we're also involved with several well-established companies. So um, iHealth and Wythings, who make blood pressure cuffs and scales that are Bluetooth enabled and other devices. We have a relationship with Google. Um, we have um, several other, oh, another company, uh, maybe a little bit beyond now the startup fa phase called AliveCore that makes an um, ECG uh, device uh, that can be used uh, with a smartphone. But many others, I, I, should, I should mention just backing up, that we are device agnostic and company agnostic. So we're not dedicated to any one particular company. We're based out of UCSF, fully academic, um, and our mission is to improve health and improve cardiovascular disease. So we're interested in leveraging technologies as long as they can help us. And we're also interested in helping companies to validate their products and figure out um, the best use that they can, that we can help determine in helping patients, in helping payers figure out the most efficient way to deliver care. So I'm a company that would like to work on this project. How would I, what, what's been, you know, what are some of the learnings? What would you say they need to bring to the table in order to facilitate a relationship? So they, um, uh, I think there are several things. So um, one is they have to have some product that brings some value, whether it be because it's innovative or it's less expensive, uh, it's more, um, uh, more convenient for a patient. Um, I think, um, as long as they are thoughtful, uh, have um, you know, the patient's bet best interest in mind, um, we are happy to set up a dialogue and, and talk with them and can figure out, I think on a case-by-case -case basis, whether Healthy Heart is a, a potentially useful platform. Fantastic. So anything exciting coming in 2015, either with this project or something in specific you're really excited about? Well, we're excited about the project on the whole, um, and I should mention, um, since I have this opportunity, that probably anybody seeing this, and yourself as well, is eligible to enroll. So it's not just for people with heart disease. Anyone 18 years of age or older with an email address can enroll. Um, we encourage, we want to get to a million people. So we really want this to be a movement, um, and we want to encourage people's family members to enroll. Um, and we're trying to make it interesting and fun and engaging and informative. And it's a way for individuals to participate in meaningful clinical research from the convenience of their smartphone, from home, from work. So they don't have to live in proximity to a major academic center. And the, the big thing that we're really looking forward to, in addition to doing a lot of interesting analyses on the baseline data, is the follow-up data. So what happens to these people? So, for example, um, patient, people, participants can connect up their Fitbits right now. There's a lot of data and there's a lot of press about Fitbits recently, but there's, there's much to be learned in terms of what are the best types of exercise, how to best use that device to predict better outcomes. Fantastic. So I'm in. I want to sign up. How do I do that? The easiest way is if you Google Healthy Heart Study. Um, 
or, or whatever search engine you want. It's actually health, little e, heart study, or go to UCSF cardiology. But pretty much any search engine, healthy heart study, probably doesn't even matter how you spell it. Should be pretty straightforward. Click on the link and sign up. Okay, so everybody, sign up, get involved, let's get them to a million. Um, it's been lovely having you here today. Thank you so much.